Star Tracker uses a fusion of technologies rather than just being purely optical. So by using gyros, it also knows where it is most of the time. The optical system allows it absolute accuracy. So we were looking for a unit that was very transportable, that we could take anywhere in the world. And uh, there weren't really any products that suited our business and our workflow. What we have demonstrated with it though is it is exceptionally good, it's very reliable. And over a four month period of a live show every week, we haven't had any problems with it at all. Reliability is you're using one set of targets. So rather than using optical systems that look downwards where you have different targets on each camera, this is using one set of targets. It does make it very easy to calibrate all the cameras to have the same zero point, which is actually a, a real bonus because you don't want to keep measuring or trying to attempt to measure zero points. You don't have to reset the zero point. Once it's set and calibrated in the system, it stays exactly where it is. In Munich at our studio at home, we are using this as a static installation. And here with the smaller setup, we also track two cameras. And because we can't set up a rig here and track to the ceiling, and yeah, we had the idea to use a uh, track on the floor. For me, it's important that you are flexible and you have a reliable solution which works. Probably the most exciting feature with the Star Tracker is, is the ability to attach it to any camera system and be incredibly mobile within, within the environment that you've set up those stars. So you want to go handheld, go onto a crane, put it on a ped, steady cam, it just works. We've used it on all types of cameras, from pedestals to cranes to steady cams. So it, as far as we're concerned, it works on absolutely multiple cameras. I've used it on up to seven cameras simultaneously. Moses permanently improves and updates the interface and software of the Star Tracker. One of the features I like is the static stabilization. When the camera is still, there is no motion in the background, which usually happens with optical tracking systems. When you then move the camera, it behaves perfectly. No jitter, no delay, it really sells the shot. I've used the Star Tracker on BBC local elections, BBC general elections, and we're just about to use it on the BBC local elections again, uh, mayoral and assemblies for the United Kingdom. I look forward to using it again. So in three weeks' time, we'll be using Star Tracker for a live 24-hour programme. So he says that we trust its reliability. I think the advantage for Star Tracker, as I said it already, is that it's very versatile. It's small. It's easy to set up. I mean, tracking is always like a difficult thing to do. It's it's complex. You're all in dealing. You're always dealing with many things. You have to combine to figure out, to calibrate, to adjust, to align. And tracking was always like a bit of pain. And so once Star Tracker came up and it's set up, you just turn it on and you forget it. So it just works. And that's the most important thing for me. Just don't care about the tracking. Just turn it on, tracking, do the production and then switch off again and that's it. I think it's absolutely fair to say we've had excellent support from Moses right the way through in terms of getting it to where we wanted it to be, how it can work. We've had good technical support the whole time and good engineering support right the way through the live productions, even though we haven't actually needed it. 